All right, I got a great video for you today, and we are cleaning and pressing some late Bronze Age books, some 1979 to 1980 comic books, and they're ROM comics, uh, Marvel comics. So they're pretty easy to press. I love pressing that era. They're very, very simple to press. The paper is nice. So just a great video there, and I'm actually giving those comics away, so make sure to watch the part four video of the garage sale, 450 comics, and here's the thumbnail right there. Make sure to watch that video and, and subscribe and comment down below your favorite superhero and or comic book, and then I will get you into the draw. Yeah, so good comics to clean and press, um, not the best comics in the world, and let's just get started. All right, so these copies came straight from Virginia, and I'm going to give them away. So we got five ROM copies here. We're going to start with the first one. This is a nice new stand, let me tell you. We're going to get uh, rid of the old bag and board. So. Right. So what a beautiful copy. It does have some age to it. It, it. it is from 1979, so it is a later Bronze Age book. But it is in fantastic condition. You can see right here. We'll straighten that out in that top there, that little crease. And we'll make all those corners as crisp as we can press them. I like that inside. So that inside back cover is really cool. Starting to color and starting to yellow. It's just getting a little bit dirty. So, of course, I washed my hands already. Um, you could use gloves if you want to. You don't have to use gloves, though. I, I only use gloves if my hands are clammy or if I'm just finishing the book and I don't want to put any uh, fingerprints or anything like that, so I'll use gloves. We're also going to do ROM number three because it's a nice yellow cover for demonstration. Shows how I clean and press yellow covers. And then we got uh, ROM number four, and this is a black cover, so it's a nice book for demonstration as well. So we're going to hit that one as well. And we're going to show all three of those quickly in a one video. All right, so what you'll need in this process, you'll need a small paintbrush to get that fine dust away, and a white eraser for those whites, and that dirt, heavy dirt, and a gum eraser for a safe, uh, on those safe colors. Okay, I did want to mention to you the uh, kneadable eraser that I do use. For me, this is a must have part of the cleaning, so you're gonna need this absolutely. You can use the absorberine uh, stuff, which we'll get later into. But right now we're just going to use the kneadable eraser and I like to just get it in a nice ball. And so this is just after you erase and can pick up dirt safe on colors. And then some makeup pad, just normal makeup pad. Also a nice area, nice big air work area. Okay, nice and clean, make sure. So I did clean this prior to putting any comic books or anything like that. You're going to need a press. Okay, for this process. Now, if you wanted to go into advanced cleaning, a steamer, a tack iron, you're gonna need those. You're gonna need a light. All right, so here we have a Silver Age comic board, and that's gonna be to put in the center of the comic book. And then we got two pieces of cardstock, and these are 65 pound cardstock. Find the center of the comic book right there. I'm just gonna add the comic board to the front of the staples in the center. Okay, if you can find the staples, you're just gonna you're just going to add the board and set the comic book in front of those staples. So not on top of the staples or like smushed in the spine, just in front of the staples. So this is a little away from that edge of the spine where it sits exactly where it's staying so that's a good spot there the cardstock has been cut and it has sort of like you can feel the edge you want the smooth edge in front of the back of the cover so we're just going to apply the cardstock in the front cover right there with the smooth edge facing the top and again on the, the back side as well 
this is this is just the back cover. We'll just apply that cardstock there, and we want them nice and even. And then we got our comic board in the middle. So this thing is nicely supported now. Now we can take our eraser, okay, and gently do some work. We might as well just start in the back. We'll use the white eraser. We'll just go ahead and start erasing. And you just want to gently do, okay, nothing too hard. When you get to the edge, just go in one direction on the edge. Towards the corner always, from the spine to the corner. Never in any other direction. You will rip the comic book if you do it any other way. You will bend it. You can see here, taking my time with it. If you need to use the gum eraser, then use the gum eraser because it's a little safer, it's a little easier. This one right here. I find the gum eraser is just a better eraser. You can see what I'm doing to the edge. One stroke towards the corner. One stroke towards the corner and then here you can start from the back towards the corner. Here, same thing. And it kind of pushes the corner out as well because when we press this page we want to press that corner nice and out as well and remember those stains down here so we're gonna see if we can't use the eraser and just erase them out it doesn't appear so so the stains didn't go through the page or anything see i'm just taking my time through the lettering there i don't want to go too hard because i don't want to take any color off the the lettering all right, so that's done. Now the front page is nice and easy because there's not much white, but I do want to hit all the white and I'm going to use my gum eraser, just a nicer eraser. The white eraser is good for heavy dirt. There's no heavy dirt on here. Just getting that white, getting all that grime off. When I get close to that edge, I just want to take my time. So I don't want to take I don't want to I don't want to take the eraser to any of that color because it's nice. There's no use to it. There's no point of that. But the whites absolutely. Do the whites. It's all done. Doesn't take takes no time at all. I want to get inside his suit there. Nice, beautiful. And then just take your brush and just. Everything's a tedious process when it comes to comic books because comic books are gentle and they're weak. All right, you'll find that out when you start taking the eraser heavy to it and you'll start over just overusing things like the eraser and even a, even a wipe. You can go too hard on the wipe. You'll start taking the gloss off, start rubbing the color out. You just want to be very gentle with everything. All right, so you can see there, the whites just look beautiful. Okay, nice and clean, no dirt on them. I wasn't trying to get them bright white. Like I'm not trying to get the yellowing, I guess it would be off. Like I'm not whitening the book. I'm just trying to get the white, like the dirt off the whites. And that's exactly what I've done there. All right, so the front and the back cover is nice and clean now um, just apart from those two little stains all that on the page as well so anyways we're gonna clean out the back covers now There's not a whole lot you can do to protect the page you just gotta kind of press it down look to be some little bit of dirt the back cover is coming off you want to be very gentle with it. You want to go towards the edge, taking the, the eraser towards that edge now. Now I always lift the eraser, just one motion towards that corner. Okay, this is very gentle. There's nothing 
or that you have to take gentle to this. You want to fix an old crease, but you don't want to fix your own crease. So you can see that it's taken out a lot of that dirt. It's just cleaning it up very nicely here. There we go. So you don't have to go doing too much cleaning inside the book here. I just want to get just the obvious. It's just the inside of the book, so I'm not too worried about it. No point in cleaning, over cleaning and worrying about the inside when you got all that outside to worry about. And that goes for just about every single comic book as well. Worry too much about the insides. If you are sending them to CGC or a grading company, I mean, they are going to label the pages if they're white or not, but I mean, there's not much you can do. I mean, you can whiten the pages, but I think nowadays they're cracking hard. CGC is cracking hard on that, so I'd kind of stay away from all that. All right, so this is done here. I'm very, very happy with it. You can see the whites are white now, and all those black crud is taken off our code there and you can see the edges are nice and clean okay. and as well in the back the edges see that corner there nice and clean okay, and the edges that's mainly what I try to clean because the dirt clings to that those edges more so all right, so I'm pretty happy with the front of this book here with uh, the erasing on the whites and some of those, uh, some of that dirt that we removed off the creases, like for instance, inside that barcode and around the spine had some little bit of creasing, not too bad. Uh, one in the middle right here, one in the lower of the barcode, and then one on the top of that 40 cents there, um, one of the bigger ones right there. It was color breaking as well. Corners were a little bit rough, but not too bad. This corner here just had a, a little bit of color rub on it. And this corner here seemed to um, be crushed a tiny little bit where it, uh, it has some color removed off of it. But it's not too bad. After the press, it'll look a little better and it'll make the edges come a little more crisper. So that's nice. And then in the back of the book here, we just did the exact same thing. Of course, there was those stains, and we will take the press and try to make it a little better, and as well in that top corner where there's a crease. So not not too not too big of a, a deal. And again, there was a there was a crease here, and so I took the eraser to it inside the crease where the dirt would cling to, and so you want to make sure. And then, of course, inside that spine, dust gets in there, so you want to clean that out. The book looks really, really good. Happy with the book. All right, so we're just going to work on ROM number three. Now, it's a nice yellow cover. It's a nice newsstand here as well. So we'll just go ahead and take it out of that dirty old bag and board, which we're just going to recycle. And we got some nice clean boards and some brand new cardstock. So this is actually a really nice looking book already. It does have its creases. Um, so we're just going to clean and press this book. We're not going to worry about the stain removal. There is a tiny little stain right here. Taking a look at the book, beautiful, right? Now it has yellowed in age a little bit. So we're not going to worry too much about the yellowing. Yeah, so the book is in great condition. All it needs is a nice little press and a clean. So the first thing you're going to do is find the center of the book. All right, so we got the center of the book and you can see the usual creases in on the top there. All right, that might pull out when we when we uh, press. But we're not worried about inside the book at all. Kind of a cool ad to Star Wars ad with their action figures. I really like that. We got our board and sometimes it's a little rounded. Just make sure you straighten it out. So you're going to use the shiny fine side for the top of the pressing. So wherever you press, you're going to use the shiny side up. All right, so we're just going to take our comic board and we nicely straighten it out with our hands to the eye. 
And we're going to take the comic board and press it right against those staples. And the comic board being in front of the staples, generally the same thickness as those staples. So that's the point of the board. When we press the book, we don't blow through the comic book from those staples, you see. We're going to take our cardstock and firmly place it behind the front cover and in front of these staples. Okay, so we're not jamming the uh, cardstock against that or anything like that. It's just nicely placed there. So in the next book, I'm not going to show you this procedure. Just keep it in mind, this is how I do just about every single comic book. And then when I press it, I might add some additional paper. But this is just for cleaning. Okay, This is to get the book sturdy and straight. That's the main purpose here. All right, so as you can see here, there's not much to do. We will hit the whites. All right, we're gonna use the gum eraser. It's the safest way. And I kinda wanna just stay away from those yellows and the reds and all those colors. They look really, really good. There's no dirt, there's no need to hit the eraser on those. I don't see any black marks or anything like that. It is a kind of a little overkill too to hit these whites, but we're going to we're going to hit the whites. When you get close to the edge of the page, hit the eraser downwards like that, okay? In one motion, don't come back with it. That'll be the death to the page. Anytime you come close to an edge, always just swipe out. Not much you can do at the edge, like at the bottom of this barcode right here. All right. I'm just going to kind of Take my time and go along the edge. Not much to it at all. Just a little bit of whites. Just kind of want to get a little better. Those red lettering and all that. You want to keep the eraser away from that as much as you can. There's no real need to hit that. Black and the reds can just fade very easily when you hit, hit anything with an eraser. So Just keep that in mind. So I'm good with that. Now we're going to take our kneadable eraser. All right. And just because we didn't do very much, we're going to use the kneadable eraser to get to lift all that debris on the whites. And this will just do a fine job. You can see I go towards the edge on that barcode. Because I don't want to lift the edge, the edge, and I don't want to rip the paper. Here, just one motion out. See the edge of this uh, spine is white, so I do want to take the eraser to that. Just when you come close to the corner, just do the corner out. When you go in the middle, you can just go right down. Just going right over that staple. Make sure no debris gets inside the staple, so it's obvious. We'll just have to clean it out after. And then when you come to the corner, just wipe out. Like that, it only needs a couple of wipes. Now I'm going to take this brush, actually wipe wipe it out. So now we're going to take the kneadable eraser and just go over, over, over everything, especially that staple. And that way we can lift all the extra debris right off, right off the comic book. You can see some right here. So this is really nice to get to pick pick stuff up with. All right, now I just want to take my cleaning pad, and these ones are kind of dirty, so I'll just get a nice fresh one here. Just because this is a yellow cover, I don't want to do any scratching. So we'll just start in the middle, work our way out, down, up. This is just a makeup pad. Yeah, very, very happy with the front cover right there. We'll inspect this inside here, and you can see that it does need some erasing here. So we're just doing the back of the page here, just, just a little bit. Now I just want to get, with the gum eraser, those edges. Okay, that's it. Don't have to go extremely hard here or anything. Just want to get the edges in that corner all that dirt off. I don't want to put any creases on, so I just want to be very light. All right, so I just want to go over the comic book nicely with uh, the gum eraser. 
because it is all white. And you don't want to go too hard again. And when I get to those edges, just right along the edge, just like that. And actually go right along the edge, just like that. Now that color rub on the uh, on the spine is probably from the bag and the board over time. And it's gotten right in there. You don't want to go too hard on that because I'll start rubbing gloss off right there. So that's pretty well permanent. We're just going to leave that not too concerned about that anyways. All right, you can see I'm very happy with this back cover here. And so we're pretty happy with the back cover and front cover of this comic book. Like I said, I wasn't going to do too much, just cleaning and pressing. So we'll move on to the next one here. Now we got a uh, ROM number four. Take it out of the old bag, the old board. You can see this is an old copy and it's a black cover. So it's got those spine ticks. All right. Definitely has those spine ticks. Color breaking, okay. Apart from the spine, it's a pretty nice book. So we're just going to do the same thing. Just give it a quick clean. And then we're going to send it into the water tank and then press them. All right, starting with the back cover here, we'll just take the eraser. Because there's not too much white. And I don't want to hit anything else but that bottom. So we're just going to go along the edge, right? Just nicely along the edge be too hard on it or anything and you don't want to come back on it you just want to go towards that corner like we explained on ROM number one towards that corner when you're down at the spine you can just take the racer and just nicely go down like that okay. now you got to consider that it's an edge so it's very very brittle and weak there's no support at the edge so you just have to pull away towards that corner that way more than likely won't damage the book stay away from the black as well all right now we got the front cover not too much uh whites but you know we're just gonna clean off those whites so inside the rom is white and we can take our gum eraser to that you can see i always use the gum eraser because it's fairly safe and it glides on the page now the white eraser doesn't glide on the page. It's a lot easier to use, but it does make more of a mess. And afterwards, we're gonna take both uh, front and back and we're gonna roll them with the kneadable eraser. Now you get into your dark blacks. You don't wanna hit those with the eraser, but you can use the kneadable eraser. So you got those yellows and blacks together. Now we can just hit the kneadable eraser and we can go up and down just to get off that additional dirt. Okay, now this is not gonna harm your book and take your colors off. So we can get all that dirt off the, you can see those light yellows right here. This is, uh, this is the way to do it, using this safe needable eraser. I start in the center of the comic book it's just I don't want to hit the edges right I don't want to go in towards the edges that's why I'm staying steering away from that because I've done it a number of times all right so I'm very happy with the process of the cleaning on these ROM books um, what we're going to do now is we're going to remove all the cardstock and the backer and the uh, comic board we're going to get them straight into the water tank before the press all right, we're going to put these into the moisture tank. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take some old cardstock paper that I have. And I'm just going to cover each comic book with two sheets of cardstock, just like that. All right. I'm going to put three t books together into the tank. go so I just cover them just like that okay 
all three of them together stacked on top of each other and then just a nice clean cloth and then a clean cloth on the top and this way it, it absorbs any extra water if it were, were to drip onto the comic book just absorbs into the cloth just like that so here's my hydro tank setup it's a just a flat storage bin like this it's about three feet long and 24 inches wide and a grate for a comic book to lay flat on and two bowls that could take boiling water. Approximately one cup of boiling water. Now we're going to take our boiling water and we're going to add approximately half a cup in each bowl. Now we're going to take our comic books and gently lay them flat on the grate and make sure we straighten out the cloth or anything and make sure that the comic is inside the cardstock, and that's to prevent any drips or anything like that. After we close the lid and secure it, you can see the steam taking effect. And we're just gonna leave that in there for approximately two hours. All right, so these are all done now. They've been sitting in the moisture tank for about two hours. I do wanna work pretty quickly on them. Obviously the moisture will start coming back out of the comic book. All right, now we gotta take the comic books out. So we'll nicely take them all out there. They're lo already looking a little bit brighter with that moisture. You can see ROM number one right there, ready to go. All right, so now we're gonna build the stack before we're gonna press, and I'm just finding the center here. All right, now we found the center of the comic book. We're just going to place the cardstock gently against the staples, just like that. And we're going to find that it's nicely centered. And then we're going to take a piece of cardstock, 65 pound cardstock, in the front of the cover. And we're going to add the cardstock there. And then we're going to add another piece of cardstock to the back cover. And we're just going to add a piece of copy paper, one or two, in between the pages just to act as a buffer. All right, we're gonna build the stack now. We're gonna add a piece of copy paper to the front of the cover, and then two pieces of cardstock, nice fresh ones, and a nice fresh piece of copy paper as well. And we're gonna do the exact same thing to the back cover. We're gonna add a piece of fresh copy paper and two pieces of 65 pound cardstock. I just wanna turn my press on and preheat it. So we're just going to preheat it to 160 degrees right here. Now that the press is completely preheated, we wanna gently squeeze the press down with the comic book centered, okay? And we're just gonna let the heat do the work, put pressure in with the dial, and we're gonna squeeze the book down with the dial, but we're not gonna to apply too much pressure. All right, this is a late bronze age book so it requires 10 minutes and then we're going to flip the book and do the exact same thing for another 10 minutes so this is done we're not going to worry about letting it cool down or anything like that we're just flipping the comic book all right we're just going to gently open the press make sure that no cardstock stuck to the bottom or anything like that and we're going to remove the comic safely all right the paper has a nice heat to it and you can see how beautiful that comic is already looking on that front cover. All right, we're just gonna get one more press here for 10 minutes and I just wanna get the back cover now. So we're just gonna put some fresh copy paper here and get that stack rebuilt. All right, the stack is all done and we're just gonna get that spine side towards the back of the press. And because this is a not a clamshell press, it's a swivel press, we can actually adjust each four corners uh, to how we want it with pressure. So that's really nice. That's why I like these uh, swivel presses rather than the clamshell. And then of course we want 160 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes for this tier comic. Now that this press is completely cooled off, cold to the touch, we're going to put the comic book into the cold press. All right, so we're just going to take the comic right off the press and we're going to gently take the cardstock off there. And you can see that this is just beautiful. It's nicely done. 
Now we're going to take our uh, cold press, which is just a bunch of cardstock, nothing special. And then I just put weights on top of that. It actually works really, really well. So that's what I use. And you can see that those stains are still there, but they did lighten up quite a bit with the cleaning. But the book looks tremendous and a lot better. So we're just going to throw the book in between the cardstock just like that. We're going to leave that in there for 24 hours. Pretty happy with the comics and how they turned out. I did end up uh, pressing them twice overall, both uh, all the comics. So whatever you've seen there, I did twice over, except for the cleaning, of course, just the pressing. I did that twice. And in the ROM number one and ROM number five, I added a steamer to that one. If you want to see how I use the steamer, just go to learning how to press in 30 minutes video that I have there. I'll show you the thumbnail here. Just go to that video. It shows a nice demonstration of how I use the steamer. Plus, I'll be doing some, some more techniques of that steamer later on in some later videos. Um, but I'm pretty happy with everything except ROM number one had a couple of stains in the back. I just didn't have enough time to remove the stains. I did do uh, one hopping uh, session on that. That was it. It did lighten the stains up a bit, but other than that, they're still there, but I'm pretty happy with the results. So let's check them out. All right, here we have the uh, finished stack. This is basically my cold press right here. It's just a whole bunch of cardstock right there, brand new cardstock, and I put the comics in between them. And then I lay some weights on top of this and I leave it, I leave these comics in there for 24 hours. So let's check out what we've got. All right, so we got ROM number seven. That's the first comic that appears. Look at that. See the edges? Really, really happy with that. Oh yeah, a little bit more, a little bit of creasing at the top there. That's all right. So that's ROM number seven right there. Sometimes you just gotta be careful taking the cardstock off. You don't know where the comic book is, just like that. All right, so this one here was ROM number five. This one I added some steam to because the uh, there's so much finger bends, but man, the turnout is wonderful. You can see there. Just a nice press, nice clean. Just better than it was. Not 100%, but definitely a lot better than it was. All right, we got ROM number three. Check this out. This was one of the nicest ROMs in the stockpile. And this one just turned out just beautiful. Let me tell you. Beautiful. Nice, crisp, sharp edges. One of the nicest comic books I've seen at this age. This might be one you could actually go ahead and get graded. See if you can try to get a 9.8 on that comic book right there. It might be doable. Right, that's ROM number three. Yeah, because I just don't see anything wrong with that ROM number three there. Great looking book. There may have been a tiny, tiny little stain in the back. I don't think that's gonna affect very much. All right, we've got ROM number one. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, so the back cover, you can see those tiny little stains there, fortunately. And there was one right here, but it did look like it pretty much came right out. It's still there, but let me tell you, 
Those two look a lot better than what it was. Let me tell you. This comic is in beautiful shape now. Absolutely gorgeous. Right there. That's ROM number one. That's the prize. All right. And then we've got ROM number eight. You can see here. Just pressed out. Just beautiful. So you can see this comic here had quite the creasing before. And now it is just, uh, it is really, really nice. All right, well, that is it for this video. And thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please do hit that like and make sure to subscribe. I just want to let you know that this comic is a 1979-1980 comic. And it's Marvel, okay? So it's much different than DC paper. So if you're cleaning and pressing a comic that's uh, similar in age and everything, just remember those factors that it's not the same and it's not the same as Copper Age and Silver Age and earlier Bronze Age. Totally different. So it has to be the same as that ROM paper if you're uh, cleaning and pressing a similar comic book. All right. Well, that's all I have for you today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll talk to you guys later.